Much of the research into electric cars is devoted to the powertrain, the batteries, motors and other systems that work to turn the wheels. But automotive companies are also devoting resources to a less obvious factor, how the cars sound, both inside and out. I've visited record producer Steve Levine, who's using his expertise gained from producing bands like Culture Club and the Beach Boys to devise the sounds that will warn pedestrians the presence of an electric vehicle and will surround the driver with a soundscape they can relate to. Um, could you just briefly explain exactly what your role is on the Halo Sonic project? My role on the Halo Sonic is to try and help define what it is that we want to hear when we're driving the vehicle. And those can be a number of things, from enhanced sound effects to, if you like, a soundscape. And those are the same principles that you would use on record production or even film music. Film music is a, is a very good example where sometimes, if you look at a particularly tense scene, it might be a single low almost inaudible rumble. The moment that's there, the audience has a sense of f f f um, tension, forbearing, if something's mm. about to happen, because the association with that low feeling is, oh my God, what's going to happen? The reverse is true. That orchestral arrangers and, and film composers use all sorts of emotional tricks that if a scene needs something, the same things can be applied to a car. So if you can take those same analogies, the power and the emotion that you put into recording, and put those into an electric vehicle's soundscape, you can hopefully bring out those same things. You can increase the driving experience because a lot of what people love about the driving experience is historical. They like the feel of a particular gearbox. They like the sound of a particular engine noise. They like the acceleration feel, that, that g-force, the inertia. They like the way the car smells, they like the way the seats are, they like all those things and, and they like what they see through the windscreen. Sometimes with certain cars they like what they see in the wing mirror if the wing mirror is a particular sight. So you've got to put all those in. The negative with an electric car, it tends to not do much mm. and at the moment the designs are still looking not like traditional cars. So as things mature, I notice the next generation of cars that are coming through tend to look a lot more like kind of cars that people might desire. Um, do you work with uh, with real sounds or is it entirely digital, entirely synthesised? The, in my record production world, it's everything. Yes. Analogue sounds, digital sounds, synthesised sounds and sound effects that are manipulated. Those are the tools of the trade and the same applies actually with soundtrack composers. If they need a real orchestra and the budget's there, they'll use a real orchestra. Mm. If they want a hybrid, they'll use both, and I think the same applies here. The DSP technology has the power to do both. It can play back real samples, it can synthesize in real time versions of samples, and there's a new principle that we're using in the studio world which is called convolution, which is where, uh, for example, I have these things called convolution reverbs. And what they essentially do is they can analyze the reverberation characteristics of any particular space. So would every car sound different on the outside? Are you, are you looking at, at that type, type of thing or would, it, or would it be this is what a car sounds like and they all sound like that? The sound of the external noise of the vehicle will be defined by legislation to some degree and so therefore once everyone knows exactly what the legislation is both in terms of the sonic sound and also the volumes I think the volumes are even going to be legislated that's my understanding but this could change but so I think that will be a set of parameters so that across many different manufacturers there will be a standard set of, of tools right. that's my understanding it right. may change but that, that is my understanding at the moment mm. whereas internally the taste is exactly the same as anyone ordering leather interior in cream with blue piping versus someone that wants all black and whatever, you know.